2020 has been a dynamic year all over Europe, so it has been in Bulgaria. With March kicking off quite strongly, let's say, with tight measures all the way up until April or was it May. After that, Bulgaria was relaxed again. And from early May onwards, let's say, the measures were eased and uh, Bulgaria having a glorious climate from even April all the way until late October. Uh, we call such, such years uh, a gypsy summer where the summer just lasts forever. Uh, 2020 had such, a, had such a summer, it was absolutely marvelous. Bulgarians are an active and outdoorsy type of people. In every season, because Bulgaria has essentially all the four seasons, uh, with a very long summer, but you do have all four seasons, Bulgaria has its own activity for each season. So in spring that means long walks, anywhere in the mountains, in summer as well, uh, then people go to the beach, all the way until late September, then uh, autumn kicks in, again hikes in the mountains, it is absolutely incredible. And then in winter it's skiing and uh, spa resort. Then, no matter what time of the year, people love going out for dinner, to restaurants, bars and clubs, much more than anywhere else in Europe. It is uh, quite similar to, let's say, Italy where people go out all the time and seem to hang around in restaurants and cafes for uh, hours on end. Now Bulgarians do exactly that. And uh, it is in particular this lifestyle that I, I like a lot about the country where I live and I call home Bulgaria. Now, the first thing is that uh, the government response in February 2020 has been relatively strong and strict and people adhered to the rules quite well. They were a lot stricter than elsewhere in Europe and that's basically how the situation kept under control. Now there's a lot to say about either strict or loose measures and I don't care to elaborate too much but the thing is that after April, May Bulgarians just picked up life and pushed through all the way until this very day. The clubs were full all summer at a beach in Sofia. Uh, it was an absolute party uh, last year for, I think, everyone. There's no one who didn't enjoy their summer in Bulgaria, whether it's uh, within the country itself or with lots of international travel like uh, I've been guilty of myself and the perceptions to the whole situation have been quite different as I would be used to in my home country the Netherlands in uh, Bulgaria you are at least in my perception admired for pushing through with life and also for knowing how to enjoy life uh, joie de vivre the art of enjoying life is a big thing in Bulgaria it is in the people's genes, and I can only admire them for that. It is a good thing, not only for, uh, for the country itself, but for the population as a whole, that Bulgarians are also hardworking. And it is exactly that they found the fine balance between working hard, but also letting go and being able to party as uh, one of their finest arts that uh, exactly this fine balance is something that they have uh, they have mastered quite well and the fine balance in everything is what makes Bulgaria a very attractive place to be it is the fine balance in the way people act and behave there is always new ones in, uh, in the things they do they are very harmonious and balanced kind of people I would say as a whole, I can appreciate them greatly. Uh, they are friendly, neither too reserved, neither too passionate. Everything is just balanced, relaxed 
and very chill. Now there's only been a relative spike of the, let's say, infections in, uh, when was it, November 2020. So that's when the, the long eternal summer came to an end. The places were closed just out of measure for the, uh, you know, the spike the country was facing. And now they are back open again as of the 1st of March. Uh, clubs will be open as of the 1st of April. And uh, Bulgarians being the type of lively people that they are, I know that they will push through all of this and uh, stay their true selves. That means knowing how to enjoy life, knowing how to invite you in their life and just... Uh, making the most of every day that's what i do after all and uh you know it makes this place feel like home friendly people up for a chat no matter what you do no matter where you go they never lose their cool they never lose their true selves and i know exactly why that is it is because they have been brought down to their knees many times nothing shakes them up quite easily Suffering and hardship have been part of Bulgarian history for many thousands of years and uh, they know how to push through. And now the country is open for business.